The Poincaré conjecture in the fourth dimension is a famous problem in topology that was eventually solved by Grigory Perlman in 2003. Henri Poincaré's original view of the conjecture was in the context of three-dimensional manifolds, but the conjecture can also be extended to higher dimensions. Poincaré conjecture in the fourth dimension. In its original formulation, the Poincaré conjecture states that every simply connected closed three-dimensional manifold is homeomorphic to a three-sphere, a three-dimensional analog of a sphere. In other words, any closed, simply connected, and finite three-dimensional shape without holes is topologically equivalent to a three-dimensional sphere. Grigori Perlman's proof tackled the problem in a more general setting using Ricci flow and geometric analysis. He introduced the concept of a canonical neighborhood and used sophisticated mathematical tools to show that under the Ricci flow, any three-dimensional manifold satisfying the conditions of the conjecture would eventually evolve into a three-sphere. By demonstrating that this was the only possible outcome, he proved the Poincaré conjecture. Ideas to solve fifth-dimensional problems. When dealing with problems in higher dimensions, the mathematical and conceptual complexity increases significantly. The study of higher-dimensional spaces falls under the realm of advanced mathematics and theoretical physics. However, I can provide some general ideas and approaches to tackle fifth-dimensional problems. 1. Algebraic topology. Algebraic topology studies topological spaces using algebraic structures. Techniques from algebraic topology, such as homotopy theory and cohomology, can be extended to higher dimensions and may provide insights into the properties of five-dimensional manifolds. 2. Differential geometry. Differential geometry deals with smooth manifolds and their geometric properties. Extending concepts like curvature, geodesics, and parallel transport to higher dimensions can be crucial in understanding five-dimensional spaces. 3. Mathematical visualization. As humans, we can only visualize up to three dimensions directly. To gain intuition about five-dimensional spaces, mathematicians often use projections, cross-sections, and computer visualizations to help understand the properties of these higher-dimensional objects. It's essential to note that tackling five-dimensional problems can be highly challenging, and specialized knowledge in advanced mathematics and theoretical physics is necessary.